What we'd like to see, I think, is an extension on the funding for specialist teacher training. We need more people with knowledge and expertise in our system. Staff training is vital, I feel, and uh, we were lucky enough to have the services of a dyslexia action teacher, Janet Mansbridge, who came in from the very outset to work with our uh, LSAs, but also with our parents and also with our teaching staff. So we covered all areas there of our school community and that's given them the expertise to take that work into the curriculum but also to make sure it's sustainable because our object was that we weren't going to just do this as a one-off we were given all that funding which was very generous and we felt that we have to now make this sustainable but it's not been difficult because the results we've seen have meant that we've really wanted to make it sustainable. Initially it can be quite daunting um, it brings you right back to the basics of how to learn to read and to spell um, but obviously the more you do it with different children, the more experience you get, the easier you can tweak the programme to your needs and to the child's needs. So I think once you've been trained in it, it's something that stays with you forever. You know, this is something I will use for the rest of my teaching career. If we want all of our school children to be able to read and to be able to spell effectively, then we need to provide something that allows all of those children to, to learn those core skills. Um, and any funding just needs to be pushed this way. It needs to go towards the P4L programme because it is highly effective. It's wonderful, it's simple to use, and the children, ultimately, they enjoy doing it. It's simple to learn and it makes a real difference to your skill set. And if people have this training, they will become better at their jobs and you know, hopefully we'll have you know, more children fully equipped when they leave school to read and write.